y'all. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah, with Vlogtober slash Crochettober 2021. As you can see, I am holding some bright yarn. Um, I decided to go bright today, reusing that orange right after that bright pink. Got most of the way around, um, well, yeah, most of the way around after uh, and during lunch today. So I have from here to here to go. That was during my lunch break. I did the rest around this. Look how much it's growing. Everybody's blanket is growing so cool and they're all so different. I love it. I'm probably gonna keep this out on a chair in my room like all year round because I think it's cool. And I think it's very colorful and very happy even though some of the colors, you know, got some dark colors in there too. But it's just a mixture of other yarns that I have. And I can go, oh yeah, I use this on such and such project and stuff. So very cool. This color that I'm using right now is one that I picked up on clearance. The rare times that I find clearance. This is Flame. Red Heart Super Saver Flame. And it is a nice bright orange. I'm kind of digging that color. Uh, what else crochet am I working on? I am working on a hat for... Uh, Oh gosh, I just had a brain bubble. Crochet by night. <laughs> she is collecting hats, scarves, winter warm things, and socks and stuff. They can be newly purchased or newly made, you know, from our wonderful hands and sent to her by the end of the month. You still have time to get yours in. I'm going to have her linked down below. And if I remember, it would be on a card at the end when I stop talking. You know, when there's like a subscribe button and a, and a button for a video, click it. You'll see it. And go visit her if you haven't already. Uh, I want to thank you for coming by for Vlogtober Crochettober. This has been so much fun. Ashley and Neva have been doing cool things with dressing up and, and all kinds of stuff every day. That has been such a blast to watch. Yeah, I've enjoyed watching everybody's blankets just get bigger and bigger and bigger. I wonder how big this will be. Because at first I was doing a lot more. I was doing more rounds because, well, the rounds were quicker and I was off work. Now, I'm not off work. Well, I mean, at this moment I am. Yeah, but there was overtime today, too, you know, and I'll have some overtime this weekend, and I work a lot. It's what I do. Oh, and you saw the bag in the thumbnail? You know, I've had my Crochet Tober project in this. It's a bag I really like. It says Meow. It's one of these really big bags that I got at Christmas tree shops, but that doesn't really apply for Halloween. Now, does it? Halloween or Crochet Tober. So, I found this at Marshall's when I went. I had to have a Marshall's haul a uh, week ago, a week or two ago, and I thought this was super cute, and I saw it in my pile of bags because, yes, I have a pile of bags. And I thought, doesn't my project belong in this instead? Yes. Yes, it does. Another uh, crochet thing that's going on today, let me sneak on in here, was the next update for the Pick and Mix Cow by Lisa Ladybird Loves. This is what I have so far. The next color that was chosen was color number two on the spinny wheelie thingy. This is my color number two. It is burnt orange. Different orange from my other blanket um, by Big Twist and it is a really nice color. These Big Twist values, it's a good value yarn. It really is. And the stitch that we're going to be doing let me pull up my handy dandy list here because I'm keeping it all. Look here, I've got week one, week two. Week one was the waistcoat stitch. Otherwise known to some of us as the hell stitch. I enjoy the look of the waistcoat stitch. My poor little fingers did not enjoy all of that pushing through the gaps for doing it. No, no more. This one is the textured wave stitch, which Lisa has a tutorial already out for. She did a tutorial for that one a month ago. That also, that stitch was also chosen by the spinny wheelie thingy. So we never know what we're gonna get, but it is fun anyway. Keeping that information in my little bag. Got the start of my lapgan here. My quote main color on this one is um, a striped yarn. Yeah, it, it's a Red Heart Stripes in latte, I think it is. It's this dark brown that you see at the bottom that lightens up as you go this way. There's my four rows of hell stitch, waistcoat stitch, no more. And I went ahead and did my two rows of main right after that because I had time. And that's how that stripe kind of works up 
as you continue on in this game. And I will be adding this to it in that textured wave stitch. So yeah, this is all gonna be war warm colors. And after it's done, it'll probably end up laying over the back of my recliner because I think I'm gonna like all the colors that are in it for that. That's what I'm doing. What are you up to? What is Vlogtober bringing you or Crochettober or, you know, just a general Thursday? Yeah, one of my favorite quotes from my favorite book. I never could get the hang of Thursdays. If you know what that's from, leave it in a comment down below. Thanks for coming by. Please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye now.